Yo, hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how we can convert a decimal number to hexadecimal. Here's how. Let's say we have the decimal number of 8096. Hexadecimal is base 16. Hexadecimal. With our decimal number, all we got to do is repeatedly divide this number by 16. We'll take 8096, divide this by 16. That gives us a quotient of 506. This does divide evenly. There is no remainder. Our remainder is zero. For the next step, we take the quotient, in this case, 506. 506 divided by 16 again. The quotient is 31. 506 doesn't divide by 16 evenly. We have a remainder of 10. Take the quotient, 31, divided by 16 again. We have a quotient of 1 and a remainder of 15. Then we have 1 for our quotient. 1 divided by 16 equals 0. Since our quotient is 0, that's where we're going to stop. And we have a remainder of 1. We have to take all the remainders to get our hexadecimal number. The bottommost number is the most significant bit. And the top is the least significant bit. With our remainder values, they can only be single digits. Here we have a 10 and a 15. According to this chart, we have 0 equals 0 all the way till 9 equals 9. We have single letters to represent numbers. A corresponds to 10, B corresponds to 11, all the way till F, which corresponds to 15. 15 is actually F, 10 is A. 8096 converted to hexadecimal is 1 F a zero. And that's how to convert decimal to hexadecimal.